All right, Howard, I'm going to show you how to change the home page uh, flip boxes really quick. Um, you can change everything in them, but you need to use some basic HTML for uh, the sparkly symbol. If you want to change it, I'm guessing you don't, so you don't have to worry about that. But to change these buttons right here is just basic HTML. Um, so, I mean, you're familiar with the back end editor. You go into that, and then it's this section right here, the flip boxes. Click on the edit. And then there's four flip boxes, just like on the home page. So I'll just run you through one. Um, the front side heading is that word right there. Compare us on the front before you hover over it. Um, front side content is pretty much any words you want to appear. So under compare us. Um, the back side content, and this is where, so down here is actually the HTML for this button right here um, and I mean it, it's really not hard to update what you do is you'd upload the media to WordPress um, copy the image link like the actual image source and you'd replace this making sure not to erase uh, the quotes um, or any other coding and I mean really that's all you do if you want to update the link you would just change this right here um, but to update the text, it's this right here with no HTML blocks around it. Um, so on the back side, it's, it's just that line. So each single one of them are actually going to work the same because there's always the Barkley, uh, symbol up on top and then there's a button on the bottom. So the text you're looking for has no HTML around it. Um, you can customize the colors of the boxes and, you know, the text and all that stuff right there. Um, and all the options. The icon image is actually the image used on the front side. So that right there of your lobby, you'd actually change that by removing this first. And then instead of saying remove or edit, it will say upload. And then you just upload a normal... Um, you just upload an image like you would in normal media editor in WordPress. And whenever you're all finished, just click save and then update the page and you're done.